In this video, let us solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios. So here we have a question, a very small one. If sine of a equals 3 by 5, find cos a and tan a. So yeah, this is all the question is. So the data that we have is only sine a equals 3 by 5. So before, in the previous problems, we used to define a trigonometric function and then come to the answer part of it. But then in this, we need to go in a reverse way. Sine of a is given as 3 by 5. But what is the definition of sine of anything, sine of any angle? It is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse. So according to this data that is given, we can clearly see that the opposite is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5. So now let us draw a right angle, triangle, and say, let's write the angle A here. So let it be ABC, or let it be right angle at B. So sine A equals 3 by 5. So what is the opposite to A as far as this diagram is concerned? It is CB. So this has to be 3. The 5 is the hypotenuse, so it has to be 5. So we can see that the hypotenuse is given and one of the other side is given. Again, in this problem, to find cos and tan, we need to have AB. So let's first find AB using the Pythagoras theorem. So the Pythagoras theorem states that AC squared equals AB squared plus BC squared. Well, literally, the Pythagoras theorem doesn't state that, like, you know, AC squared equals AB squared plus BC squared. Definitely not. What I'm saying is AC squared is a hypotenuse, so the hypotenuse squared equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So we've got AC as 5 or 5 squared, and then we've got AB as nothing, so let's write it as AB squared. Plus we've got BC as 3 squared. So now 5 squared is 25. 25 equals AB squared plus 3 squared is 9. So AB squared is nothing but 25 minus 9. AB squared equals 16 and AB equals root of 16, which is equal to 4 units. So the value of AB is found out to be 4 by using the Pythagoras theorem. So now that we've got the value of AB or say adjacent value with respect to A, we can easily go ahead and find cos A and tan A. So what is cos A now? Cos A is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse. And the side that is adjacent to angle A is AB, so cos A is AB by hypotenuse is AC. So AB is 4 and the hypotenuse is 5. So cos A is 4 by 5. So we've already found the value of 1. So now we need to find the value of tangent of A or tan A. Tan A, as we all know, is opposite by adjacent. Now the opposite side to angle A is BC, so I write BC in the place of opposite and adjacent is AB, it's just here, so AB, so the values are BC equals 3 and AB equals 4, so therefore we've also found the value of tan A which is equal to 3 by 4. So this ends this problem and with this problem I think we must also end solving simple problems like this. All you have to do is just find one missing side in the right angle using the Pythagoras theorem and then obviously use the trigonometric functions, the definitions of the trigonometric functions to find the values of all the unknown functions that we are asked. So let us quickly solve another problem. Don't expect it to be as simple as all the problems that we've solved till now. So again, in this problem, we've got sine theta. In the previous problem, we had sine A equal to something by something, and we had to use the Pythagoras theorem to find the other values. But in this case, A is replaced by theta, which you can consider it another angle, or it's, it's some kind of a Greek language or something, if I'm not wrong. It's the alphabets of Greek or Latin or whatever that is. So that is one of the symbols used for angles very commonly in the field of geometry. So sine theta is given as a square minus b square by a square plus b square. So what we do is, let's write sine theta equals to opposite by hypotenuse. We just need to break anything down to this form. 
so now this is nothing but a square minus b square by a square plus b square so opposite is a square minus b square and hypotenuse is a square plus b square so now let us draw a right angle triangle say we've got theta here so theta so sine of theta is a square minus b square by a square plus b square so the opposite is a square minus b square and the hypotenuse is a square plus b square so to find the values of all the other five trigonometric ratios we definitely need the value of this one so let's name this triangle say a b c so we obviously need the value of a b there's nothing different here except for the values of a c and b c all we need to do is again apply the same pythagoras theorem which is nothing but a c square equals a b square plus b c square a c square is going to be a square plus b square the whole square and a b square is going to be a b square because we need to find the value of that after this problem and b c square is going to be a square minus b square the whole square so now we have a b square equals a square plus b square the whole square minus a square minus b square the whole square so now let's start expanding this we've got a b square equals a plus b the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2 a b so a square plus b square the whole square is going to be a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus 2 a square b square because a square plus b square plus 2 a b if you take this one a square is a is a square here so a square is going to be a to the power of 4 and b is b squared in this case so b square is going to be b to the power of 4 and then already we've got a square b square so it is a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 plus 2 a square b square minus a square minus b square the whole square is going to be a to the power of 4 let's use brackets here because there is a negative sign let's also use brackets here so a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 minus 2a square b square so now we've got a b square equals a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 plus 2a square b square now let's take in this minus sign so we we get minus a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4 and plus 2a square b square now here we have a to the power 4 a to the power 4 gets cancelling and b to the power 4 b to the power 4 gets cancelled so all we've got left is a b square equals 2 plus 2 is 4 and 2a square b square plus 2a b a square b square is 4 a square b square so now since a b square is 4 a square b square a b is going to be root of 4 a square b square the root of 4 is 2 and the root of anything which is already squared is that thing itself so the root of a square is going to be a and the root of b square is going to be b so the length of a b is found to be 2ab so this is only 10 percent of the problem solved the major problem actually asks us to solve the five trigonometric ratios so now that we've got the value of ab also we should be able to do that in a very quick time sine theta so sine theta is going to be opposite by hypotenuse which is nothing but a square minus b square by a square plus b square so this, is, so this is sine theta and then we've got cos theta or cosine theta which is adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent is ab which is 2ab so 2ab by hypotenuse is a square plus b square remember the hypotenuse does not change for a right angle it remains the same so sine theta equals a square minus b square by a square plus b square cos theta equals 2ab by a square plus b square tan theta equals a square minus b square by 2ab because tangent of theta is opposite by adjacent and opposite to theta is a square minus b square and adjacent to theta is 2ab which is this so we found the values of three things in fact we've also found the values of the value of sine theta itself so we just need to find the values of the other three trigonometric ratios which are secant theta so secant theta is going to be inverse of cos theta so it's going to be a square plus b square plus 2ab please remember all the relationship between the trigonometric functions it's the most important thing and then we've got cosecant theta cosecant theta 
is nothing but a square plus b square by a square minus b square so that is what is cosecant theta you can of course break it down further but you but you actually can't and then we've got cotangent theta or cot theta which is nothing but 2ab by a square minus b square it's just going to be the inverse of tan theta so it's 2ab by a square minus b square so using one given data we've found the values of all the other five trigonometric ratios this problem was not really difficult it was a very simple one to understand hope you all have understood how this problem was solved Thank you.